The first thing I wish I knew is how many fights are decided just because one robot got stuck in a weird position, or how it's colloquially known does the thing. When a robot is doing it the thing, it means that it's stuck in a position where its wheels aren't touching the ground and its weapon isn't able to move it and just sort of stuck there. A lot of robots have a position, that one position where they get stuck. You'd be surprised how many fights are decided this way. I've had, I've won plenty of fights and lost plenty of fights because my robot or the robot I was fighting gets stuck. The most obvious way that people end up building the robot to avoid is, oh, I get up, upside down my robot's invertible. But then what ends up happening is, oh, you have wheel guards, but you end up getting stuck between the wall. One wheel guard is on the floor and the other wheel guard is on the wall. With Bigfoot, it happened twice in one event where my forks were up on the wall. The back of the robot was touching the ground. The wheels weren't, a weren't able to touch the ground. Pretty much the best way to prevent that, other than like keeping that in mind when you're designing in CAD or whatever, is to also, once you have your robot assembled, just test it, see what weird positions it can get stuck in, and not just upside down and like on a flat surface. How can it get stuck on a wall? How can it get stuck on kick plates? You'd be surprised just your robot not doing the thing as much can win you more fights. <laughs>